Okay, just a quick little warning here real quick, okay? Just a little warning. I, okay, listen. If you mess something up on your computer doing this, which it's no, there's nothing wrong with the tutorial. It's a perfectly fine tutorial. Just like I said, there's no risk really at all. I don't know how you can mess something up. It's very simple. But in case someone manages to go into their files and delete something or something stupid like that, don't blame me. Okay, the tutorial was very easy to follow. And again, if you need help down in the comments below, ask me or ask someone or or someone in the, if you see someone in the comments and I haven't answered them yet, please go ahead and answer their question if you know what it is. That being said, on with the video. Like I said, there's no way you could mess anything up. This is the easiest thing in the world. You're literally just memorizing numbers on your OBS settings and changing your resolution in the game. It's not that hard, okay? But I still feel like I should put this here in case someone goes decides to go into their file explorer and delete their program files x86 and then come blaming me for it okay there we go that being said i'm not responsible for it okay i'll put the warning in the video continue on Slayers, I'm the world's coolest second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64, and welcome to probably a really short video on the channel, okay? But this video is really gonna be helpful. Now, it has nothing to do with Sega. If you read the title, this video has something to do with this OBS, which is why we're on the OBS screen. Now, there's this problem that OBS has that I ha have been spending a year trying to figure out. Now, there are no tutorials out there. There's barely any information online. I couldn't find any information online. I couldn't find uh, not a single YouTube tutorial that actually worked. I did find one, but it's very old. It's very outdated, and it did not work for me. So... You know, I'm making this to help you all out today, to help myself out today, to help anyone out there with this problem, and that is going to be how to fix the small window glitch on OBS. I don't know if you want to call it a glitch, a bad feature, whatever you want to call it, but uh, how to fix OBS automatically cropping your videos. Now, this tutorial here is probably going to help a lot of you out. It might not help any of you out, and even if you have never experienced this, because Okay, this does tend to happen with a little bit of older games. More newer ga newer games don't really have the problem, although I have come across new ones that do have the problem. But mostly older, pretty much any game I'd say made before 2015, there's a huge possibility this might happen. It also tends to happen a lot with emulators, and, you know, I've overcome that too. So, what that is, is, well why don't i just show you so i'm gonna cut to pass me here because i already recorded the clip but there'll be a little bit of gameplay here for you to be able to see what i'm talking about okay so as a little demonstration of what i'm talking about here we have good old fusion right you see it so we go to um we go and we go to load a game right i'm just gonna load a genesis game doesn't it doesn't really matter you load what you want i'm just gonna load a genesis game because that's what i have when I find one, just scroll down, find one, it's whatever. I'm just going to launch Road Rash, and I'm going to put this in full screen by pressing Escape. And as you can probably tell, it is now in a little box. I don't know if it is in a little box. I'm guessing it should be in a little box. Because, like, let me explain. In normal gameplay, right, I can't tell you if it's in a little box or not because it's full screen for me. But for you, it should be in a little box. So, you know, I'm going to just unpress escape. And I'm going to assume it's not in the box anymore, right? So, hold on. We're just going to stop recording and we'll get back to future me talking. Okay, so you've probably seen the little gameplay clip right there. You've probably seen that Road Rash was in a tiny little box up here in the corner like this, if you just follow my mouse. It was in a very tiny little box. It was cropped. It was not enjoyable to watch, and you could barely see it. I'm going to be showing you how to fix that now, okay? So, the first thing you're going to want to do, right, is because this is all dependent on your graphic settings and OBS in your, in your game, right? So, you're going to want to go to your settings in OBS, right? Can you see that on screen? Yes, you can. You're going to want to go to your video, right? And in your video, you're going to want to see that one that says 
base can base canvas resolution right and you see how mine is up here and it says 1600 by 900 right so 1600 by 900 all right keep that in mind yours is probably not going to be the same but mine is that because of my monitor and that's how my monitor you know that's the resolution of my monitor so 16 by 900 right you want to aspect the aspect ratio 16 by 9 you see 16 by 9 so you just want to see that now that says base so keep that in mind whatever that number is keep that in mind okay now i'm going to show you two ways to do this so you once you figure out what that is on obs you can go ahead and close out of that right now you're going to want to minimize obs remember you're going to want to remember again that's settings right sorry my phone's going off let me just mute that i should i should have did that before the video but at the same time i wasn't thinking so that's again hold on let's just restart again for you so you, i just want to make sure you have this clear i don't want to make it like this tutorial is supposed to be clear i don't want it to be too much of a hard tutorial because it's not hard i don't want it to confuse anybody settings that's settings right that's video base canvas resolution it should be the very top one you can see mine is 16 by 900 memorize that remember what that is so okay so you're gonna exit you want to minimize um this right so i demonstrated fusion now there's two ways to do this okay so we're gonna first off you're gonna want to open fusion right if it's an emulator here's what you're gonna want to do right there will be three ways i'm gonna show you each way right what you're gonna do is you're gonna in Fusion or any other emulator that is like this that has a little window like this, you wanna go to your options or your video options, right? And then you're gonna find your resolution. So full screen resolution. And you can see it is 640, right? 640 by 480, right? We don't want that. We're gonna go, oops, sorry. We don't want that. We're gonna go all the way down, right? And we're gonna change the rest of you wanna change the resolution of whatever game you have to the resolution matching obs okay so like hold on let's just show you one more time clear go to settings right go to settings go to video base canvas resolution my yours is probably going to be different than mine okay i have an old dell monitor it's very old it's not too old i think it was like 2009 it's an old monitor it, it only does 900p you know what i'm saying 980p or something like that but 60 it's 16 by 900 that is the resolution of my particular monitor so your you got yours is yours might be the same it might be different so minus 16 by 900 okay so you're, you're, i'm gonna go ahead and go back and go to fusion here right and on fusion i'm gonna go to the video options and i'm gonna change the full screen resolution from 640 by 480 to 16 by 900 1600 by 900 right and then we're just gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a game right i'm gonna open a game really quick If I could find one, we're gonna open. If I could find where Road Rash is, oh, that's the wrong. I'm on my desktop file, so whatever. Okay, so you're just gonna want to find wherever you keep your games. This is keep in mind, this is for emulators, and we'll just open Sonic 3, right? And we're just gonna press escape. And now, if you notice, instead of it being cropped, it is now full screen, okay? It is now full screen. The emulation is full screen. And you no longer have to deal with the crop nature of the game. It's no longer annoying. Here you go. You can see Sonic 3 complete and full, full screen for your eyes. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Now, like I said, I, did, I could not find any tutorials for this online and it was killing me. But I finally found, I finally figured out how to do it myself. And you know that that was really good. So this tutorial is made for people who don't know. Now another way to do this. Now this is this you're gonna want to keep this in mind. If you're planning on playing any Sonic games, right? So like Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, Sonic Generations, it's gonna be a bit different, right? So what you're gonna want to do is some games, like I said, some games have uh, the uh, some games obviously have it where you can change the resolution directly in the settings on the actual game itself. Some games like that are like uh, let's see. Call of Duty, Advanced Warf Infinite Warfare is like that. Games like, hmm, what is another one I can think of? Something like, uh, hmm, something like CSGO up here is like that. What else? The Batman Arkham games are like that. You can change the resolution from directly in the game, in the game itself. But another way is, what you're going to want to do is, right, you're going to want to go to, you're going to open your file explorer, right? You're going to go to this PC, right? You're going to go down, you're going to go to Windows C Drive, right? 
keep this in mind. Now you're gonna go to you wanna go to program files x86. Do not go to program files, normal program files, because I don't know what's in that. I don't want to play with that. You're just going to go to program files x86. Now, remember, if you can't change the resolution in the game itself, there's a good chance this is what you're going to want to do, okay? So, listen carefully. Again, let me reiterate one more time for you, okay? You want to go to this PC, Windows C Drive, right? You're going to want to go now, program files x86, okay? You're gonna go down and you're gonna to wanna to go to if it's a Steam game, if it should be a Steam game, go you're gonna to go to the Steam folder, right? In this, you wanna go down, right? In the Steam folder, and you're gonna look for where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You're gonna to wanna to look for Steam apps. Okay, not Steam China, not Steam, not services. Don't mess with any of this Steam apps. Okay, so you wanna double click that. And when you get in Steam apps, again, do not mess with anything here. Don't take anything out, don't delete anything. Just go directly to the folder that says common right here. Open that up, and here's all your games. Now, one of the games I'm gonna show you is Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. If we click this, right, and we go in here, you can see that it has a little file, a little application right here called config, right? And you're gonna wanna click that, and if you click config, you'll notice that if it opens up, here it opens up the configuration for um, Sonic uh, and Sega All Stars Racing. So, you can see I can change the resolution. I did not know that this was possible. You see what I'm saying? I didn't know this was possible. I didn't know I can do this. Here we go right here. You see what I'm saying? Here we go. We got 16 by 900. So you can see it was all in all these other different resolutions right here. But I want to change it to 16 by 900. And you're just going to want to hit OK. And there you go. Now if I go to the game, it's no longer cropped. Now it would have been cropped before. But it's no longer cropped in OBS. Another way is, like I said, if you, what is a game, I'm trying to think of a game I can quickly open up for you guys that has, um, that's going to open up quickly and then actually has the settings inside the game. How about we open Redream? Okay, let's open Redream. Alright, if we go to Redream, alright, and we go to, if it hurries up. And we go over to video you can see inside you can see you you'll see game aspect ratio right here that's this will be in most games it don't matter like if most of the games will have resolution settings directly in it you just want to make sure you have 16 by 9 which is just 16 by 900 selected or you know 16 by 900 right there just make sure that's what you have selected again let me reiterate one more time this is if your says something different so that's one more time let me show you because I don't want anything anybody going and messing up the resolution and blaming it on me All right first off I'm gonna leave a, a warning at the beginning of this okay now look again right here base canvas resolution 16 by 900 yours is probably gonna be different but it might be the same make sure you memorize that it says 16 by 900 again you go you minimize you go to whatever it is I showed you three methods and if you're in a game and you go to the settings and it has resolution settings or video settings and you can select the aspect ratio go or the resolution go with 16 by 9 1600 by 900 or whatever yours is I'm pretty sure if you have a PC you know how to change your resolution on your games right now if you go to your game and it does not have Again, if it doesn't have, if it's a Steam game and it doesn't have the option to change the resolution inside of the game itself, remember, go down, go to this PC, go to Windows C Drive, go down to Program Files x86, right? Go down, go down. If you know your way around the PC, this shouldn't be anything different to you, right? Go to Steam. Oops, do not change the Steam. Do not change the name of that. Don't want to do that because that, that's a mistake right there waiting to happen. Go to Steam, right? Go to Steam Apps. Go to Common. And here's all your games. Another one that does this, right, is Sonic Adventure DX, right? You can see the, um, where is it? The configuration file is here somewhere. I'll find it at some point. And another one that does this, another one that does this is Sonic Generations. Now, where is it? Sonic Generations Config is right up there. If I, wait, where is it? That's fixed effects plate oh, yeah, Sonic Generations. It, it, there it is. Sonic Configuration Tool. If I open it up, you can see I can config everything. The graphics and all that. And you, and you see, look, resolution. 16 by 900. 60 hertz. 
16 by 900 or whatever again i reiterate because again i don't want anyone messing this up or going down in the comments i mean again i'll help anyone down in the comments if you need help feel free to comment i'll gladly help you but um yeah just go and again i'm gonna say this one more time before i end this video you want to go here you're gonna want to go into settings you're gonna want to go to video you're gonna want to go to you want to see your base canvas resolution if it's what whatever number it is minus 1600 by 900 that is what i would change the resolution to in the game and it will fix all your problems okay that being said this video does not need to be long it's 12 minutes i don't know how it got this long i hope this helped you out hope helped you out a lot because i was stuck and it was really irritating me and it kept me like because i would have to go in sonic and Sega all-stars racing really this would annoy me because it would put it in a box and i would have to go in my editor and crop it and when you crop it yourself in your editor it really makes the gameplay look bad and putting it in that tiny box overall makes the game look bad so that is how you fix it remember if you need any help down in the comments ask me what to do and i'll gladly help you the best i to my ability down in the comments if you know what you're doing if you also see someone in need of help and you know how to help them please feel free to help them you know what i'm saying that being said, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach 300 subscribers and you'd be helping us out a lot. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slayer. I've been the world's close second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64 And until next time, have a good one, Slayers. And again, like I said, one more time, if you need any help down in the comments, I'll be sure to help you.